performance for us, please? Yeah, I think when you go away from home uh, and you win 3 0, then it's a satisfying per performance. So I'm really pleased for the young players. I thought there were some real strong performances, from, particularly from our young players. One or two still worrying signs, but overall, um, you can't be disappointed with, with 3 0. And just to watch it, if you were a neutral, end to end stuff. Uh, it must have been a fantastic game to watch, but I was sort of watching it with a bit of mm -hmm. Arsenal focus, <laughs> attacking and defensively, so I was, yeah. was just looking at it slightly differently. And Johnny, you, how would you sum up that performance? Uh, I mean, definitely um, it's a kind of mixed bag in the sense that we, I think we quite defensively a bit all over the gaff, you know, um, which is kind of a, a bit of theme for the last one, but... You've got to look at like Saka's performance and think, wow, this is encouraging. Like really, really encouraging. Martinez, excellent. Joe Willock, really, really good. Um, so yeah, I definitely think those guys were were bang on and and plenty for us to be excited about. And um, you touched on a few key players there, but I'm going to push you guys to name who would you name your man of the match? Uh, it's got to be Saka for me. I mean, I really love the way he's taken his goal because it's a real statement goal. You know, it's not just like a little tap in that people forget. He's, he's taken a touch out of his feet, bent it in. It's absolutely delish. You know, you're looking at that and thinking you've got to be a player with confidence and technical ability to pull that off. So it's a real statement goal for me and one that says, hey, listen... Drop me, drop me, Gaffer, because uh, he's been. A, I've been the best player on the pitch today. Yeah, I thought it was a strong performance from him, particularly at half time. We were saying we want to see you be positive. We want to see you use your pace, use your skill, use your ability. Uh, it doesn't matter if you lose the ball a little bit, particularly in, uh, in uh, attacking areas. We want you to show us what you can do. And I actually thought his second half performance was stronger than his first half performance. And then that goal just to to, to finish it. Uh, was a was a was a was a great finish for, from him. Well, it's fair to say that opinion is pretty widespread across our fans at home as well. Here's what you guys have been saying on Twitter: Saka, what a finish! Big things in the future for him. Mark says, what a moment for Saka! Great strike. And lastly, Saka has been incredible. One goal and two assists. So. We've also got to move on to another player, Johnny, you mentioned, mentioned him earlier, Emi Martinez. How key was he across the 90 minutes? Um, look, this is the other kind of side of the result. Like, you know, realistically, all that matters was the result and it's a positive one. But as I was saying in commentary, you know, if things had gone a little differently today, we could have been beat 5-3, you know, like easily. They, they had so many big chances and the keepers made some awesome, awesome saves. That, on that note, is encouraging in the sense that, yes, Leno is our number one, but if he was to get injured or have a spell on the sidelines, you've got someone who's stepping up at this level, can operate and make big saves. So it'll be great for his confidence and, and the confidence of the team in his ability. Um, Nigel, were you impressed with our number two goalkeeper tonight? Yeah, yeah, I certainly was. I mean, uh, he looked very commanding in his box, uh, looked very assured what he was doing. Also, not only after he collected the ball well at times, he was looking to, to, particularly towards the end there, he was looking to set our players away on, on a counter-attack. I think he's, uh, if I call it game management, uh, was very, 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 very good. He, he uh, you know, at times when you were thinking, are we going to take a short goal kick here? What's he going to do? No, he pushed the team out. We, we went a little bit longer. So, uh, he did everything he had to do and he made some important saves. Well... He made some important saves, and this is what you guys at home had to say about Emi Martinez's performance. Frankfurt have greatly improved the quality of their shots this half. Martinez earning his money today. Babs is saying Emi Martinez has been class today, considering it's his first game for us in a while. Great backup to have. Emi is a giant, got a bit of Jens, men oh, Jens mentality. I love it. Big guy, big personality, big saves, top stuff, dude. OK, well, moving on, um, we did have some of our academy graduates feature in that and they featured really big. We've already touched on Saka. Guys, I'd love to get your opinion on what you thought of Willock's performance and also Emil Smith-Rowe. Uh, yeah, I mean, I thought Willock was great. I think um, what I see, probably out of all of the graduates at the moment, he's the most encouraging at this stage of the season because... His consistency between game to game is, the, well, he is the most consistent. He delivered, you know what you're getting with him every time. He is someone who won't stop running. He's very athletic. Uh, he's strong. He looks 
physically strong enough for this level of football. Um, I like his endeavour, I like his creativity. And, yeah, I mean, he's fortunate with that goal. But at the same time, you've got to get into that position to take it on. He supports the front players very well. Um, so I really, really like Willock. And I thought uh, Smith Rowe uh, did really well. He, you know, lots of endeavour. And I think he'll have better games as he gets uh, back to full fitness. Um, but, you know, he's still a player that I'm really excited to see what he can produce. OK, well, here's what the Arsenal nation around the world are saying about our young academy graduates. Saka Willock and Mill Smith Rowe are so different to the typical Arsenal players, far more suited to this. Um, Saka providing the assist for Willock to score. Two Arsenal youth products working to provide us the lead in Europe. <laughs> Hairland over La Masia. Change my mind. <laughs> um, Nigel, I'm going to bring you in there. Is Hairland bigger than La Masia? Is it doing big things at the moment? Uh, well, it's, it's doing all right. I mean, when we see... I mean, I like Willock anyway. Um, I think he's a player that I, I look a little bit like Frank Lampard. He, he sort of arrives in the box at the right time. I think what he also is very good at is driving forward with the, uh, with the ball as well. Emma Smith-Rowe, I thought, had some nice touches. He's just coming back in from, from injury. But what you want to see is what excites me is about the young players coming in, playing well, pushing the senior players, uh, and that just starts to give the manager one or two uh, sort of questions about, hmm, are these boys ready to come in and play more often in, in the team? It just makes it so much more co competitive and it gives us supporters a focus. Definitely creating that sense of competition within the team. And um, something that you guys touched on the start there was our defence um, and the number of shots we're having. Here's what Tiki Taka said, Arsenal are once again allowing shot after shot on their goal. It will catch up with them. Um, Johnny, you're nodding your head in no, agreement no, there. I'll come to you. Let's leave Johnny out of it because he's getting <laughs> fr frustrated. <laughs> let's not focus too much on the, on the defence today. We've talked about it enough. We know it's not perfect. We know we've got a lot of work to do. But I think from an away performance when you win 3-0, we really have to focus on uh, sort of the more the younger players and uh, the attack, the way that we attack today. Because if you want to look at it, yes, we did create, uh, have chances created against us, but we also did create a lot of chances yeah. as well. So I think today is really focus on what we, what we created going forward. We know we've got a lot of work mm. to do def defensively. A bit of positivity there from yeah, Nigel. No, I'm keeping him out of it. <laughs> I don't want him depressing me. I'm going home happy. <laughs> We're all going home happy. We are. Um, well, let's take a look at the table where things stand right now after that match. Arsenal are at the top with that 3 0 win, then Standard Liège behind them. They won 2 0. Then the Portuguese team, Victoria, lost 2 0. And then Eintracht, obviously, they lost to us. So. Essentially, on paper, everyone was saying this was going to be our hardest game. Do you think going forward now it should be a breeze and we're expecting W's all over the place? Yeah, I think we'll be dropping dubs. A few dubs <laughs> around there. Absolutely. Let's get, get them out. Yeah, I mean, you, you got you, Saka's not going to be scared of anyone else coming out. He needs to be starting all those games. Um, but the fact is, is it, oh, I think it is our, our toughest game. Um, you can look standardly age of one, but again, it's against a team I hadn't even heard of. Um, and I do expect us to win, probably with all wins, but uh, even, even if we don't, I don't really expect us to get beat in this group and we'll see how it goes. But I, I do want to keep seeing these players who've been given a chance today get more of a chance in this uh, competition, particularly at this stage, and keep impressing us with their performances. OK, well, guys, you know I'm coming to you for your one word to sum up the performance. Nigel, you first, please. Satisfying. Yeah, oh. <laughs> yeah you liked it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I know you did. And you, oh, Johnny? Yeah. Encouraging is the word I said oh, earlier. Yeah. <laughs> oh, very I'm going to say thrilling. So satisfying, encouraging and thrilling. Well, guys, thank you for joining us in the studio and thank you guys at home for watching. Remember, we'll be back on Sunday to resume in the Premier League when we face Aston Villa. Tune in from 3.30 and we'll have all the preview and discussion for you then. See you soon.